Hi, Suzanne. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to share your experience with everybody out there. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about how you ended up in our office? Okay. Uh, I would say about a year and a half ago, I was in extreme chronic pain. Getting to the point where uh, going to orthopedics, going to orthopedic surgeons, um, because I was at the point where there was nothing more that physical therapy could do for me. Mm -hmm. I barely could walk into the physical therapist's wow. office, couldn't even do the physical therapies that they were trying to have me do. So at that point, uh, the next step was injections. I guess it's a, you know, a path that would be injections and then eventually possibly surgery. Um, I did talk to quite a few people about the injections and I was at a 50-50 um, split on that. 50% of the people, we feel great, 50% of the people didn't work for them. So I said, I have nothing to lose here but the pain. Mm -hmm. And um, came up with that one myself. Right, you got to. <laughs> but, um, and that at the time I had two of my coworkers who were patients of yours mm -hmm. and recommended me coming. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, like I said, I had nothing to lose. So I came here and here I am. Um, so how, how is this pain that you were experiencing, how is it affecting your day-to-day -day life, your, your work, your um, social life, your exercise? Everything, and all you're thinking about is the pain all day long. Mm. And then you're, you know, you're, you're at the doctor's office and they're giving you, are they, you know, um, drugs for the pain, mm -hmm. um, which really weren't working that well. Mm -hmm. And drugs have a lot of side effects. Mm. And I kept thinking in my head, this is not, this isn't, something's not right here. Right. And then to go through then possibly, you know, leading up to something with a surgery, I mean, once you do some of the injections, you can't turn back from that. Right. Whatever is in your system is in your system, and right. that's it. Right. And sometimes those have, uh, you know, uh, there's damages that happen from that also. So I just knew that it just wasn't the right path that I wanted to take. So you take a leap of faith based mm -hmm. on Marie and Joan, they tell you to come yes, to our office. Yes, absolutely. And right. what has your experience been going through care? It, it took, you know, those first, those first couple of months were trying. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you want to just wake up the next morning and say, oh my God, this is a miracle. Okay. This is like awesome. Mm -hmm. But um, it, did, it took a little time. Mm -hmm. It took uh, dedication not mm -hmm. only on your part, mm -hmm. you know, with me, mm -hmm. but on myself also. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's it's just been honestly like a miraculous turnaround, you know, just from uh, those first few months. Like I said coming three times a week, but then you have to put it in perspective. You're going to physical therapy for three times a week, mm -hmm. um, and what are the alternatives? That I would have gone for uh, some sort of injection, and it not work, and then where where does that lead you? What kind of changes have you noticed in your day to day life? How does it affect the day to day? You don't think about the pain anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like a miracle cure and I'm 100% better. Mm -hmm. There are days that I wake up mm -hmm. um, and during the course of the day, you mm -hmm. know, you, something may happen mm -hmm. and you're just like, wow, you know, I'm not feeling like as good as I really want to feel. Mm -hmm. But the bounce back is mm -hmm. so much better. Mm -hmm. You're not, I'm not taking anything. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I, I, I took an Advil for a fruit canal. Wasn't your daughter like shocked to see you on the bike? Everybody, <laughs> everybody, yes, like, you know, people just, you know, like, they see the difference in me again. I am back to being the person that I was. And I have, you know, I have a grandchild now. Mm -hmm. um, I can play with her, I can lift her up, I can do the things that I was doing, that I wanted to do mm -hmm. without surgeries without medications awesome. and just with your help. Awesome, awesome. Which has been really good. And then a side effect of being under care, the side effect, um, you had this issue with your vertigo and balance where you couldn't lie on one of your, Absolutely. the right side. Right, right. And uh, how, how, how has that changed? I s <laughs> sleep on my left side now. <laughs> right, there you go. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's amazing the things that have happened. Um, also, just not, just feeling 100% 100, 100 better mm -hmm. and um, not getting sick like I used to, mm. colds mm -hmm. and you know even if you start to feel like one day you're so, oh you know I feel like a cold is coming on and that was that one day I happened to come mm -hmm. here and within like a couple of days like without taking things mm -hmm. it's just it's like I'm not getting this, the illnesses that I used to get for the long period of time things seem to be just working themselves out like the body's amazing. The body I mean, is amazing. Needs. So, as we wrap this up, mm -hmm. what would you say to the person that's been everywhere, tried everything, and they just stumbled upon your video, and they're just not sure they're skeptical? Um, I would say just take that leap of faith. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's mm -hmm. what it is. Exactly mm -hmm. what you said. It's a leap of faith. 
you have to believe in yourself, but you have to also believe in you. Mm -hmm. And um, the two combined together are awesome. awesome. You know, it's just, I said, it's just, it's unbelievable what's happened to me. I can't, I can't believe it. I, I wake up in the morning sometimes and I'm just like, this is amazing to me. Now, I, you know, and I, I, I'm at my next step now mm -hmm. where I'm going to go back to the gym awesome. and do, I'm going to do, I'm going to start You mean from not being able to walk to the office from going back into the gym. Right. It's amazing. I would take 20 steps, literally. I was counting between 19 to 20 steps wow. before I was being like, I can't, I can't take this. But then I started to come to you and then I noticed like the first week, okay, I'm taking a couple more steps, <laughs> second week, all right, this is something's not, what is this, what's going on here? But well, I'm really super grateful that you did take that leap of faith. I'm super yeah. grateful that you trust in us and yes, I'm super absolutely. grateful that you're sharing with all of them. Absolutely, and you and your staff, amazing people, really. Make, awesome. Thank you so much.